Welcome back to Ringworm, folks. Ringworm's starting to freeze. It's getting real close. My buddy Tito's still up here. He's been burning brush for like three months or something, <laughs> helping me clean up. And uh, I'm working on my, man, it's weird to hear a four-wheeler ripping through the woods when you're not on it. Things are starting to freeze so fast. I need a quick and easy place to put uh, a bunch of my crap out of the snow. It snowed yesterday the first time. Clearly it didn't stick, but uh, you guys probably saw this thing getting built. Wanted to see if I could uh, make a roof with no legs, hung it from the trees. That was a really fun project. But uh, the quickest way I can think to get my crap out of the snow, I'm gonna, since I got Tito here, I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out how to put some legs on this. Not quite as easy as I hoped it would be. I'm gonna have to do some, <laughs> some weird putting together, of course, because that's the way I like to do things. Uh, I think I'm gonna use poles put them on here and then get the chainsaw mill out and uh, mill up some lumber, some logs I got laying around here. And I think I'm gonna do like a shelf across here, one on the opposite side, maybe one on the end. I don't know, maybe even something up there. But with legs, I can still fit the four-wheeler in here. This is just to get the four-wheeler out of the snow. But that'll give me extra room to uh, store some of my junk, paint cans, chainsaw, oil, that kind of stuff. So I don't really know how I'm gonna make these legs, but uh, we'll get the chainsaws out, start chopping, and see what we can figure out. I think I could mill up lumber and make the legs out of lumber. I do want it to be cedar because they're just going to sit on the ground like everything. But I guess the easiest way to do is make cedar poles and kind of trim the tops to fit inside that. For I don't know. Do you know? I have nothing. He doesn't know. <laughs> Let's get going. Got a few logs here. Saved for no reason other than they're pretty straight and they're too small to... Uh, mill into anything. Maybe I'll drag one over and see if I can get it to work. So I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to square up the end of one of these logs, well four of these logs, I'm going to cut a 90 on it and then maybe even try to trim that thing out of it. And then I can put screws from the outside into it through all these, through this. And it's going to need, the reason I didn't, I made this hanging in the first place is I didn't want to deal with all the cross bracing and all that stuff because, I mean, clearly I live in the woods and all I do is make lumber with the chainsaw, but it's still like a good saw log is kind of precious. I don't like to burn through a lot of them if I can figure out some other way to engineer it. So. I think for this I'm going to do the four legs like that and then I might even do a cross brace with the uh, Cajun pole line or mule line or whatever you call it, that giant spool of white webbing I have. Let's see if we can't cut one of those logs into a partial square. Oh, that was a mix of uh, sawdust and snow. We don't like that. We're going to go for about six feet maybe.
think that's right. If not, I've got firewood. Think it'll fit? Let us, let us just see. Set it right down there. Give it a kick. Which way? Out. Away from that way. Yep. How's the at? Good on all ends. That's amazing. That's really amazing. Gotta look out for that. My brains! <laughs> That's pretty darn tootin'. Yeah. I call that luck. Or proper measurement, which I don't really like to do. It's measure. Measure. All right. That's amazing. This is held up by one leg. Isn't it something? You look around, there's just forest. Must be the spirit of the woods that's holding it up. kind of hard to uh, see if these are square because there ain't nothing square with it swinging from the trees. Wow, it looks, it looks freaking perfect though. Your new car hearts are making too much noise for my video. Yeah, they do have some noise to them. I'm going to have to pause every time you walk by. Bark's just starting to freeze on there. It's like the last day to peel them without a real headache. Oh, 
don't really know how I'm gonna get these on there perfectly straight, but I'm just gonna be nice if I had somebody else around that could lend a hand. Unfortunately, Tito's down there, probably just sitting on the ground with his legs crossed, eating Cheetos and revving the saw to make it sound like he's doing something. But I'll just kick it around and try to get it close enough, and then I guess I could always pull the, I'm gonna do it with screws so I can pull them out and rejigger them if I have to. That might work. No plumbing or level on this thing, so I guess we'll just have to go off that. Hey, that's not bad. Hey, we got really lucky. Not bad at all. I'm feeling so lucky today. Wow. Just four screws and it's pretty sturdy like. Jesus, heats. Something's gonna catch fire because this is way too easy. Nice. problem now is that the ground isn't level. <laughs> I don't know if I can get this other leg in here. Hmm. I have to jack this side up. How's your shoulder press these days? Oh, can you do 250? A wobbly 250? <laughs> mm, not this one. First I gotta, gotta look right in the middle I think. Well that's the heavy end. I know. I'm going to stick that under there and then, because that side's like a foot higher. No thinking? Lifting? No think. Yeah. Lifty, lifty. A lot more, a lot more. Oh man. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Oh shit. That's it. I think that's it. We're going to have to uh, machete those straps off of up there. Shoot them off. Ooh, shotgun. Let's do that. <laughs> That's a great idea. There's no, you don't have any power right here. I mean, you don't. I, uh, I don't. That's where all my power comes from. It's right about the nose level. I assume this isn't going to go anywhere when I cut these. There's a little bit of tension on there. Think anything will happen? Yeah. You do? All of it. All right, well, wish me luck. I guess I'll put my uh, face shield down, huh? Woo! Not bad. Didn't even catch fire. It's supposed to stand at the very top of the ladder. With the knife in my teeth? Man, our bowling's great. That whole time swinging around in the wind and bowling, bowlings, all that weight on there just comes right out. Well, it's too ungainly and a weird height to lift, and too heavy now. And if you scoot one end, you're tweaking the other end, the legs or whatever. So we got a plan. <laughs> Not a good one, but a fun one. This is kind of a hold my beer and watch this kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah. Got all sorts of hydraulic lifty thingies. Gonna put it right in the middle here, jack the whole thing up like an inch, and then just guide it over, set it down or spin it or whatever, and just keep doing that. We only have to move it to like right there, maybe eight feet at most. It's probably not gonna work, but Every time I say that, it actually does work. Let's see how many extensions we got here. It's not going to be anywhere near enough. But put a stump underneath it if we have to. Like 
that. Put a little foot on there for good measure for safety. This is how the this is the center. Professionals would do it, I believe. I've only used this for cutting people out of burning cars. I've never lifted a, a garage with it before, but I'm pretty sure this is what you're supposed to do. Filled with cheese. Yeah, this is cheese whiz. Pressurized cheese. Is anything happening? There it is. There it goes. Cheese caught. A little bit. Oh, yeah, that's right. right. That's good. It's lifting it. Yeah. How sketchy is this? Really sketchy. This is a little bit too weird to put on YouTube, so we're only going to show you one clip of how we're doing this. We get this end off the ground, and then he does a full squat and throws the end of it one direction. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Ready? Yep. Nice! <laughs> we got good rotation that time. That's all you get to see. Are you sore yet? Not yet. You're gonna be. We got it moved right to where we want her. So you can uh, drive in this side, park, and if you want, you can make the loop go all the way around. So when we're bringing loads of brush and stuff, drive back out there and around and drop it at the fire pit. And because of that, there's really no way to brace this for the front or the back that way. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a strap off to the tree and I might, we'll see what that does. Might put one out to here. And then the sides, I think I can still, I could still brace. I'm gonna put the, the shelf on there. I might put one up high on the back and another one on the other side and then uh, do some kind of brace. But for now, I'm gonna put one to the tree over here. Cause in our hasty moving, uh, you can't tell cause it's a wide angle lens, but these, these legs are both bent a little bit. So I'm just strap it over there. And I don't have a lot of eyelets, so I'm going to use all these Goodwill screws, bolts. Crap. If you've watched any of these videos, you know how I'm going to tie this already. Bowling on one end. It's like the two knots used for everything. Bowling, because if you ever want to get that out, you can. Just like I got out of the top of this thing that was hanging the entire roof. And then if you really want to tighten it, you do a trucker's hitch. I use a butterfly knot here for the loop that's in the middle. That's great. And I'll tie it off to the other side and then eat a pork steak. Fill her up. Premium. You know what this needs? Some of those old, uh, gas station signs like maybe right on the front there dude that would be so cool yeah i uh i really liked it when it was hanging and now i like this a lot better because uh i could put all the bunch of crap in here and not have it rip the trees down i'm gonna have to mill up at least one log for shelves but maybe i'll find something that'll work for one or two of them Oh yeah, I tried to use this in a different project, but it was when the bar and the chainsaw was a little bent. So one side's skinnier than the other, but for shelves, that'll be just fine.
that breakfast made me so thirsty. Yeah, we, uh, as like a huge snow cloud was coming in, so we immediately, without any arguing, packed up everything and left and got breakfast. I know my lips are like chapped and I, I feel like I've I'm... already drank a whole thing of that. <laughs> it's called water. Uh, or yours wasn't water, was it? Was know. it that bottle I've been peeing in? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's why your lips are chapped. <laughs> yeah, that's why I keep getting more thirsty. <laughs> It's rough, but it's a uh, ATV carport. Who cares? That's a good trick for scribing. All you need is a stick. You can even do it with a, a pencil going this way and a pencil going this way. You just start at the edge and drag it along as long as your scribe part of it stays uh, whatever that angle would be straight out 90 degrees and it scribes all right. I had to go back and trim one of these a little bit, but it works. I'm gonna go like this and like this. Kind of want to back on it just so whatever I put on there doesn't get snowed on. I'm thinking in order to save lumber, instead of having to mill up like two logs that I want to use for my man cave, I'm thinking maybe I'll use the cutoffs. I've got a whole stack of them, you know, like the first, when you got a log, the first and last board you mill off that's round. I got a pile, so I think I might do one or two like this on the outside. It'll look kind of log cabiny on the outside. And then I'll have to mill or find a board for the bottom. I think that'll work. I don't know. Let's go dig through the pile. That one looks nice. Not very wide, but... That would do. I saved these for just this kind of thing. If I don't want to mill a log. That ought to do it. I know most of you don't even recognize me now, not doing any of this with a chainsaw, but I can't help myself. I love new tools. Just a couple of these need to be draw knifed, so Tito volunteered. just to make it look kind of cool. Make some kind of brackets on the inside that hold this and the shelf. That's one. This is the other. And I think I've mentioned several times, I'm saving all these logs up for my uh, mini cabin man cave that I'm making. So I kind of hate to burn through them if I can use them later. I did notice this one appears to have a rotten spot through the center, which means I could probably only get two good boards out of it. It goes all the way to, through to here. Usually these logs, if it looks like that in the bottom, by the time you get, you know, eight feet up, this is gone. It's just a uh, rotten way down there. But it's also a bent log. But I bet somewhere in here I can get one board here and probably one board here. So I'm going to melt that guy up real quick. Oh, 
must have cut it a while ago. It's not very heavy. Well, that didn't really work. There's too much rot in this guy. I got one, maybe one that I threw over there might work. I'm gonna go uh, see if I can find Tito and the four-wheeler out there somewhere. And I think I got a spruce log laying back there I could drag up here. Nope, not a big enough log. I think I might have some aspen in the pile. A little bit thicker than necessary and kind of worked, but let's make that work really cupped I don't know if you can see that so this would be the top of that shelf this was just kind of junk it's been left in the pile for a long time I don't really use this for much of anything except maybe a floor or something since this is the top I'm wondering if I can just run the mill over this again it has to ride on this all I really want is a flat surface on this side I mean if it was just a little bit I wouldn't worry about it but you set something on a shelf that's warped like that you know, you set it on the edge, it's going to be <laughs> leaning off to the side, and then if the whole thing gets bumped, stuff will fall off the shelf. So I'm just going to see if I can see if I can mill that off without uh, cutting the sawhorses there. Try that again, taking a bigger slice maybe. It's like a, a sixteenth on the edge and a quarter in the middle. So that was the the round that came out of it. happy to use scraps. <laughs> Here's a matching scrap that has turned into a temporary work table. Use that for the uh, brackets.
fantastic. <laughs> it's amazing uh, living out here how happy shelves can make a guy. Probably isn't necessary, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I've become really fond of this uh, roof tar. Of course, I've only been using it for you know a few seasons, but uh, for the price, liquid nails roof repair. I have no idea how much it'll last. I think it's like four or five bucks a tube, and when you use as much as I do. I mean, this would be the major expense of any of these projects. Is big cracks, don't wait for the wood to season. It takes a lot of this stuff. I just uh, realized recently how few shelves there are out here. It reminded me of, uh, that was like five years ago or something, I like the High Sierra portion of the Pacific Crest Trail, which is like the John Muir Trail and then a week or two north of there. All together, and the one thing I jonesed for the whole time was a picnic table. <laughs> like after a month of just sitting on the ground and doing stuff on your lap, I was like, I just want some place to sit down and like put stuff that's flat. It would be so nice. And I think after the last however long out here, the thing I'm jonesing for is some storage space, which is why I'm working on the uh, man cave so I can put some stuff in there. This thing is great. I can get a bunch of stuff out of the uh, lean to. Tito and I built this like it is just because it was really fast and easy and a high enough pitch roof that the snow wouldn't all sit on there. But the downside is that there isn't really much place for shelves, especially with the wood stove in there and all this for hanging. I mean, the shelf space that is here is just packed full. And this is my only workbench and there's no place for all my tools. So this is going to get a lot of this stuff off the shelves. I was just thinking I might... No, I don't know how much more I'm going to use this once I have the uh, my man cave mini cabin built. So I might uh, double this shelf here so I can get some more stuff off the ground. And ugh, it's such a mess in here. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that even just sits out year round because there's no place for it. So let's do some moving. Gotta find a place for uh, the one more gumball machine that didn't get eaten by a bear. Soon enough. Oh, this is so satisfying. <laughs> oh, I can even see what I've got. Finally got a place to get my log lifter out of the weather. Fantastic. Okay, <clears throat> I gotta stop. I'm getting a little carried away. <laughs> I just moved everything I possibly could and put in the tiles and nails to hang stuff on. All right, what do we need? Some bracing. I think I might have something in the pile. I was trying to think I was gonna do some of that uh, mule line, like a cross on there or something. That's not really ideal. I don't know. I think the easiest thing really is I gotta pile of poles back here and I could just do like for now I'll just do one brace on either side I think. These have been here for quite a while. I don't know if they're full of bugs or... Yep, that one is. Hmm. Not too bad. Looks like I could probably peel that and use it.
Oh yeah, that'll do. Just put one on the other side and then move on to the next project. This is awesome. I'm super happy with it. Nothing else, just the extra storage. I just thought of one more thing it needs to just make it pop. Grab the four-wheeler in the trailer and go pick it up. I just figured since we went to the trouble and the many, many days of cutting and chipping everything, might as well use the wood chips for something. Plus, I just started listening to a band of brothers and it's totally engrossing. I don't really want to stop even though it's starting to get dark. Probably got about a half an hour. I can at least wood chip this. I'm very satisfied with myself today. This is just lovely. And you could feel it when you rolled in, it was nice and soft, you know, you don't want it too uh, bone jarring or anything. That nice uh, freshly chipped floor is just wonderful. Well, I gotta call it quits right there because I could just keep going and going and going and tweaking this and screwing with it. But I got, uh, today was like the most gorgeous day we've had in quite a while. It was like 55 sunny and no wind, which is, abnormal by comparison and i think we've got another three days exactly like this so i got a lot of stuff to get done unfortunately i really need to uh put some more shelves up to get of course get the chainsaw mill out and make some lumber for some shelves in there and re rearrange the lean to and then i got like one or two more days of chores it's just stuff i gotta get done i gotta take the bug net off my shower move a little bit more brush some wood chips and stuff before it snows and of course get back to working on my mini cabin I keep taunting you guys that the video is coming of uh, the beginning of the mini cabin, our man cave. One of these days I'm going to figure out what I'm actually going to call it. It's going to be like a multi-purpose room for living in, in the winter, perhaps. I really like being in a tent, but some nights when it's whipping wind, snowing, below zero, I will use it. I'll stay in there. Big workbench, a lot of places for tools, probably. I've been looking at some uh, propane sheet metal small box heaters with a chimney on them. The uh, little buddy heaters that you guys have seen in a whole bunch of videos, and I've mentioned this before, they're awesome. You can use them inside. It doesn't produce carbon monoxide, but they do produce water vapor. So as soon as it's below freezing, if it's 31 degrees, then that moisture just doesn't go anywhere. You know, it'll stay in all your stuff. So it's really no telling what video you'll get next week. Come back anyway. I'm sure it'll be a hoot. Look at how loaded I got this place. <laughs> Stuff hanging everywhere. It's pretty cool in here. I know what you're thinking. Ryan, just put sides on it and live in it. No. All right, time for dinner. See you next week.